I have a home in Cape Verde I'm trying not to lose and a, and a roof over here we're trying to maintain that we almost got kicked out of. So I just kicked in the drive and did what I had to do, you know, and he won't do it. So I had to. And I'm sorry, you knew I was an adult video star when you met me. My, 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 how the mighty have fallen. Joe Smith was formerly a number one pick in the 1995 NBA draft, made over $61 million in his 16 year playing career, but is now being disrespected by his wife, Keisha Chavis, who, by the way, had a life of booty clapping sounds. That's right, doing adult videos. But needless to say, he married her anyway. And when he married her, she was also on the way to trying to become a singer at the same time she was an adult entertainer. But you know what? She's a very beautiful woman, and as it seems, a very talented woman. And when she met Joe Smith, she thought things would be better. But of course, as the popular Roots album says, things fall apart. And they fell apart for Joe Smith after his playing career. He had a lot of problems, no money, and now he's broke. And of course, when she got with him, she thought that things would get better for her. And unfortunately, they have gotten worse. And that's why we come to this particular clip that so many of you guys have already seen. Let's check it out. This is stupid, yo. I can't believe I'm sitting here just finding out you got an OnlyFans page. Out of all these years, yo, the disrespect that comes with it, that you couldn't even talk to me before you did it. That's bullshit, yo. That's fucked up, Keith. I'm telling you, yo, that's fucked up. Wait. Wait, no, 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 cop, but you're not gonna say fuck me or that's fucked up. It's not what fucked up. Recording me? What the fuck you doing? <sighs> Listen, it's not fucked up and we're going to. Up. Okay, look, so I have an OnlyFans page and he's mad because he's just now finding out about it. Of course I'm mad I'm just finding but out about it. I'm not doing it with anybody but myself, it so why should I have to tell you my choice, my body, my body, my fucking choice? I'm your partner, you're supposed to come to me and talk to Joe, me. Joe, I've been talking to you about mad things. I've been asking for solutions to shit. You're not giving me none, so I created one. That's no solution. Not in my book. That's no you solution. Knew, you knew who the fuck I was when you met me. Before. Before. Before, before, yeah, we before, met, yeah, I knew and I that. thought that I would never have to go Man, back to anything like this again, but unfortunately, no, no, no. that's not the case right after that, now. After that, everything's supposed to change. Everything did change. No, 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 no. Obviously, everything. it hasn't. No, it had to, I had Obviously to do something. it hasn't. You stood out there showing your body. You stood out there doing stuff like this on camera. You act like that's the only thing that I do. I have mad jobs, but they're not facilitating everything that needs to be done. So I got something extra. Only fans be breaking me off. What the Man, fuck? Come on, Keisha, with that. It don't matter what they breaking you off. It's the disrespect that comes with it. What you disrespect? Even, you couldn't come and talk to me about it. Okay, well, we're talking about it now. Because I had so. to find out on the fly. All right, then. But now, okay. No, so, wait. I had to find out on the fly. So now you know. Yeah, now I know. Okay. And so? Whatever. I've been doing what I have to do, period. Like, that's bottom line. Yeah. That's what it is. Now, guys, watching that clip, many of us sit back and say, is this a skit? Because that's exactly what I thought. I thought also, I'm like, yo, this looks like a skit. There is no absolute way that she's disrespecting this man like that. Especially why would she record it and post it to the internet? Now, if she would have had this discussion to him, you know, behind the scenes, it would be still bad, but it's more digestible. But for the fact that you recorded it and you put him out there, well, you kind of really don't leave him much choice but to take the action that we're going to find out that he did. And of course, she spoke to TMZ Sports, where you see she's breaking down crying, and this is what his wife had to say. I guess the first question is, where's how Joe? Are you, how are you where, guys doing? Where's Joe? Um, He's pretty pissed off with me. What the fuck you doing? So he's been, um, I think he's at his sister's house. He's not talking to me right now. So, yeah. Keisha, how long ago, obviously, we saw in the video that Joe's saying he had no idea that you had this account. How long, how long is the account? Have you had the page? Um, I've had the page for at least over a year. The disrespect that comes with it. What disrespect? 
Um, it's on my Instagram and my LinkedIn, but that's what happens when you don't pay attention to your wife. Period. You're a wh You're a wh Just admit it. You're a wh You wh yourself out online. You wh yourself out in front of your family and your friends. You're a wh Plain and simple. Just admit that you're a wh Um, and you know, he has a friend that he's been entertaining and she decided that, you know, she wants to really put a wrench, a bigger, you know, wedge in our relationship. So she went digging around my page and was like, oh, do you know that she has this? And I blew it from that. I mean, it's no secret, Joe's financial issues, you know, mm -hmm. and I have always made a good life for myself, you know, um, before I met Joe, I was living overseas in Europe. And I had established myself as a singer, you know, and I came back here, you know, thinking that with his persona and who he was, once we got together and I found out who he was, that it would only take off, you know, other things. But, you know, not everybody's hustle and drive are the same. And depression is a serious thing also. So, you know, I've been just like, you know, supporting and dealing and going through his trials and tribulations with him. Um, I've started several businesses, you know, I've, I've been doing a lot like, and I just was, I just figured out like figure I have a home in Cape Verde. I'm trying not to lose and a, and a roof over here. We're trying to maintain that we almost got kicked out of. So I just kicked in the drive and did what I had to do, you know, and he won't do it. So I had to, and I'm sorry, you knew I was an adult video star when you met me. So guys, as you can see, She's not taking any accountability for the fact that, you know what? You actually have an OnlyFans. You're actually disrespecting your husband and you play some part in the role. She's not even doing that. What she's doing is blaming everything on him, this other lady that's in the business, and then talking about his financial woes and their problems, pretty much out here giving, you know, getting her Jada Pinkett Smith on. But also, you didn't marry the guy because you cared about him. You married the guy because you thought he had money and that your career would go up someplace from where it was, and it didn't. So now you're still with him, but you're disrespecting the man because you feel like you have to spend all the money. And I want men to understand this. And I was talking to Brother George Macon of Street Media TV. Shout out to him. And you know what? Um, there's only a few people that get conditional love. Uh, dogs, women, and kids. They get it. Men, our love is conditional. And one thing that you always gotta keep doing is producing, all right? Once you stop producing, that's when the love stops, all right? That's when it stops. And we need to be okay with that because that is the truth, guys. It's just how it is, you know? We can't expect to get unconditional love from a woman when women want providers. I don't care how good of a looking man you are or how built you are. And trust me, there are some guys out there who women find very attractive. Guess what? You want to know who's paying some of the most child support? Those men. Look at every guy that you feel like in the industry that a woman fit finds to be attractive. It could be an NBA player. It could be Iverson. It could be Denzel Washington. If women get the opportunity to get their money, it's not going to matter how good. Listen to what I'm saying. They are, okay? You guys need to understand that. It's not going to matter how good those guys look. Women want a man that is going to be a provider. And that is a situation, a provider. And this is what you guys need to pretty much understand, guys. Unfortunately, that's the case. Unfortunately, that's how it's going to be. Unfortunately, that's what it's like. All right. You need to understand that. And as long as you continue to do that, you need to keep building. You got to keep building. All right. That's something that you need to know. You need to talk about, you need to discuss. It's something that you just need to find out, man. Joe Smith is finding that out now. He's 48, he was in the NBA, he can no longer play, he doesn't have money, he's gone from being a guy that had everything, all kind of women, tall, women might find him good looking, to guess what? You're a guy who can't produce anymore. Always work on yourself. Always be in a position to produce. Always keep the water faucet running at all times. Always do that. Because guess what? It could be me, it could be you at any given time. Nobody loves us because they love us outside your mom or outside your family. With women, you need to keep producing. Point blank period. And when you don't, 
you find yourself, you know, thinking that somebody loves you for you, just like he did. Oh, you know, I'm Joe Smith still, you know. No, she's with you, bro, because she expected that she would get something from you. And now she's not getting it. She's disappointed. She felt that you were going to lead her life into a different direction. And it comes to find out that, you know, you're not a responsible man to her. You're not a man that can provide things. You're not a man that's doing anything. And you want to be respected. But no, she's not going to respect you because she feel like you're a man that's not worthy of respect. So she'll still sleep with you. She'll still deal with you. But if you think that she's going to respect you, that's where you're wrong. So, guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out.